Baby Dolls, this is a tutorial video on how to buy coins on Pulse Chain. This is a tutorial for you. So the first step you need to do is to get money into Pulse Chain. And the first thing you actually have to do is go to PulseRamp.com. And when you go onto PulseRamp.com, friends, you'll see this button here. You have to click on Bridge, okay? You click on this button and you will be taken through. Now, you can do this on the phone or whatever. And what you have to do is you have to connect your wallet, okay? Connect your wallet, friends. I've done now, and you will be on the Ethereum side. So you should have ETH in your wallet. Now you can bridge other stuff if you want, friends, from the drop down list. You can uh, bridge in your wrapped pulse, your die, whatever it is on there. Okay, so that is one way to do it. You can do that. You move in your ETH and you put it on. But there's a problem now, right? Well, you need some pulse. Now I think the bot is still running where you actually get given some pulse for transaction fees. However, an alternative that you can do is, okay, if you're going to get ETH, you can go onto one inch, which is an exchange, and in the top, you can swap like your ETH, and you can type in WPLS, right, and you will get wrapped pulse from Pulse, and you see this WPLS, friends? So that would actually give you the native gas fee to be able to go in. However, I think the bot is still running where if you're a new wallet and you come into the chain, you get given gas. There are other alternative websites if you're coming in from Binance Chain, but the liquidity is limited. So you don't have to go in from Ethereum. You can use this website, pulseln.com, okay? Pulseln.com, look at the top left. Pulseln, you can go through and you can bridge in through. I think it maybe uses BNB, whatever, you have to click through that. There's also another one, friends, called SparkSwap, as you can see here, SparkSwap, but the top uh, ending is .xyz. And then when your money has come in, friends, and you have Pulse because you need it for gas, what you have to do is you have to go to the DEXs. Now, what I'm about to tell you, friends, there are extra steps here. It's not confusing. I'm just telling you there is money here to be made because it's more inefficient and the rest of the market has not woken up yet. So you're going to need to use different DEXs because sometimes they're buggy a bit. Sometimes you don't get the proper price or something doesn't work. So I'm going to show you them right now. And before you might moan and groan, I just want to show you what you're missing out on because you're still early. So for example, this is dick with butt here. You can already see, man, like it went up 28x already. And if this thing goes up another 28x, the examples of like what could happen if you're on the right side here could be huge. I can also show you two teddy bear friends. So teddy bear as well. Look at this snap up. It's done. You can't even see the amount of the prices it went up, but it was giant. So you can actually go here and actually check using one of these tools to actually get the price chart tool, which is this right now. You can have a look at, it's like a 10X up here. Imagine it does like another 20 to 30X. There's also like, you know, there's always opportunity that are appearing. So if you want to have a look at them, right, this is the Tangang coin, so HOA. Just showing you what you're missing out on. This is not the full chart, by the way, because I haven't shown it to you, but there's, there's like a 10X pop-up just on this, okay? So these things can move wildly. That's why it's worth your time to go through these next steps and just and keep this on your bookmarks. So when you're in, friends, the main DEX is PulseX, okay? PulseX, as you can see here, I have it up here, but here's the, here's the thing, okay? With PulseX, friends, there's a bit of an issue. So if you move to Pulse, if you wanna say move into PulseX, okay? You wanna, yay, let's let's trade into, into um, let's trade half of it into PulseX. Now, PulseX is a larger market cap coin as well, the Premier DEX, and there's auto routing, which is done here. But here's the thing, when you look at, a lot of these Pulse Chain altcoins, they don't have a liquidity pool. Basically, the supermarket shelf doesn't exist on PulseX, or the best price doesn't exist. For example, your local store is selling bananas for eight bucks, but if you just went another block, they're only like 50 cents. But if you keep going to your local store, you're like, oh my gosh, you keep paying eight dollars for bananas. So what I will do is there is a DEX aggregator called Piteas, P-I-T-E-A-S, Dot io. I'll put all links in the description. You can see Piteus. This is basically what you kind of should start off with to see if you can fetch a good price. So what I'll do is I'll just connect here, which is what I've done right now. Now, here's the thing. Piteus is pretty cool because, see this Pulse, friends? You have your Pulse as a currency to swap. If you go type in, let's say, HOA, okay, this is the hex orange address, and you want to swap it in, HOA has done enough volume and routing that it should be able to fetch a price. You see this, but we should always check, friends, see this price impact part? Always check this price impact and just check this number here, 1.4%, so that you don't mind that much slippage. So with a lot of the, like, these established multi-million dollar market cap coins, 
you will normally find a price. Now, I want to show you something as well. This is really important. When you click on swap, friends, okay, I'm not going to do the swap now, but I'm just going to go through. When you click on it, because Pulse Chain gets very clogged, you see this little, this little pencil? Click on the pencil and set it to aggressive and then go through, okay? Because if you do that, you will usually go in through the queue in the next 10 to 15 seconds. If you keep using it on default, you keep basically the, the, the gas estimation on the chain, it's not as fixed as it could be, and it takes a while, especially when things get clogged, okay? So what I'm showing you right now, this is Pitaeus, okay? P-I-T-E-A-S, it's an aggregator. It's just like one inch. So it goes through and finds best prices. But remember I told you, man, new coins that appear, I've noticed, it won't fetch a proper price, okay? It will just, it'll just like be blank. It'll all say not, nothing available, okay? But this is where you really got to pay attention. There is another website you have to use, which is dex.9mm.pro. So it's nine millimeter dex, okay? So nine millimeter dex is a uni V3 fork, which means you can set liquidity in different ranges. And there's, uh, it's, it's basically exploded. The devs in there, it's really cool. Part of the Tangang universe as well. There's a lot of updates, there's NFTs and stuff here and there. But this is another thing you have to be aware of, okay? So if you connect your wallet, okay, you click connect your wallet here, there's something to just be aware of, all right? There, right now, as of today, it could be changed that nine millimeter DEX does not have auto routing. What's auto routing? That is on PulseX. So on PulseX, if you want to swap to something, see how, look at this, see this router? It goes from this to one pool to another pool, okay? So basically it hops, it hops around to find the best prices if you want to go from one coin to another coin. Nine millimeter DEX <clears throat> does not have that feature yet. So what it means is if you are in a coin, for example, friends, if you just type in like HOA, let's use HOA as the example. Let's say you use Dick with butt, okay? So DWB, Dick with butt. This is a good example. So if you type in Dick with butt, there's actually nothing that's appeared, okay? So what you're gonna have to do is go back to DEX screener, which is the chart website, which is what I've got here, right? And if you look for a coin, friends, let's type in DWB, and you'll, you can also type in forward slash PLS, and you can see here what people are always looking at. They're looking at this liquidity uh, column here. See this 347K? So if you click on through, it has here. Now, where do you get the contract address? Go to the right and scroll down here. You press this button. You see this is the contract. It ends in DB68. Now that you've copy-pasted it, you can go back to 9mm DEX, and you can actually, in the top, you can paste it in and look, you'll have dick with butt, a cute little dick with butt. See that's appeared. You go, you understand, that's fine. But now here's the thing, friends. Because 9mm DEX, it only talks pool to pool. It doesn't do auto routing yet. It probably will in the future, probably soon. <clears throat> if you try to swap from your coin into this, it might not have liquidity. So let's say, for example, friends, let's say you have a coin. Let's say you literally have access coin. You have access coin and you want to swap like 0 0.1 of those coins because it's $30,000 into it, okay? Now, the thing is, there is probably, there seems to be liquidity here, but not all the time you will find these coins to have liquidity. Like there's a boomer coin here, okay? So if you want to have a look at here, we can just play around with the numbers just to see what happens if these go up, okay? And okay, there's, I think maybe it does have auto routing here, price impact. Well, that's pretty cool. Actually, no, because the prices aren't enough. See these friends, what you see? So see, this is important, see? 50 bucks already, this is a $50, so you can see the um, the balance of it, 50 bucks, a $500 order from Boomer into this is a 24% slippage. So you can see the price impact at the, at the bottom, okay? But look, they have a route here that there's a PZ friend, see Boomer, Pulse to D, uh, DW. So this auto routing, I just want to confirm to you, so I've just seen it now, it seems to be on on uh, and might be a new feature for nine millimeter decks. However, sometimes what I've noticed is it will still say there's no liquidity available. So what you'd have to do is manually, friends, you would have to move your money into Pulse first. Then when you have the Pulse, swap it. Okay, now you've swapped into Pulse and then move it into Dickweed Butt. So what I've just shown you is, yes, you're taking a bit of that extra step, but for stuff that's really, really early and, and low market cap, this is what you need if you want to get in before everybody else, okay? So I'll just give you an example, right? Like, for example, two spooky coin. So SPKY, one of the uh, Tangang coins, you can see this going up. <clears throat> it's actually nice, 174K market cap. So these things are small, right? 
And at the start, sometimes it's a bit clunky. They've got to go the auto routing and not everything is configured right. But it's beautiful to see actually that you've been now shown, hey, these are the things you need to actually stay on top of the game and swap in. So to recollect, right, you bridged your money in. You either went in from Ethereum or you went in from Binance Chain. Hopefully there's more exchanges in the future. It'll be easier, okay? You bridged your money in and now you have your money in there. And if, to buy a meme coin, I showed you, you'll go to Dex Screener, friends. So everybody in crypto... They're not using coin market, coin rankings anymore. They're on Dex Screener, okay? They're on Dex Screener. You scroll to the left, for example, you find Pulse Chain down here. Everybody just has these pages and they have a look around. So, for example, if you want to find, okay, uh, what's the uh, HOA address? You can just type it in the top left, friends. Just get used to this, okay? What you have to do, type, type in HOA, you will notice the Pulse Chain logo everywhere. So, you go, okay, there's all these liquidity pairs with it. You can type in HOA. This is the PLS um, pair. You can go to any of them, right? Because the HOA address is just going to be everywhere. It ends in 70FE. Okay, so you've now learned, right? You go, okay, you learn how to go on deck screen up, find the coin. So if, if your friend's telling me, if I'm talking about a coin and I don't have the address there. So for example, there's a coin called like OMG, okay? If you type in OMG into here, there's all these other OMG coins. But if you notice Ethereum logo, Ethereum logo, they're all, you know, these, these aren't the ones. So what we can do is just type in forward slash PLS, to get the pairing, and you go, oh, orange man, good. Look at this. So if you click on it now, just using an example, friends, okay, just, it's, it's 34 mark cape, it's tiny. You go here and you can click on OMG. See, it ends in 2D5. So I pressed on it now, the address has been copied. So <clears throat> I've shown you now, if you hear about a coin, you're like, hey, I like that chart. How do I go find around what they are? You go to deck screener, you try to look for the pairs, you look for the liquidity parts. And remember, deck screener doesn't add up all the liquidity everywhere. It only tells you the liquidity of that pair. So this is 4,200 liquidity for the Pulse pair. There could be other ones with another $4,000, okay? So that's not relevant to you really. Why? Because there's auto routing, which means they'll find the best price to try to get to you, okay? So now that you've you found that <clears throat> normally, okay, what, what you can do is, friends, you can go back to Pateus, the aggregator, and you can just paste it in, right? Say, oh, wow, Orange Man, good. Now you notice, friends, for new coins that have, haven't even updated the logo, just because the communities are new. Remember, Orange Man Good's part of Tangang Universe. Okay, it's so one of the smaller ones. Just showing you. Just obviously, not financial advice. Just telling you how to do this. You find stuff early, okay? And you're looking at this. You're like, okay, oh, wow, I can swap something in, all right? So maybe you put like, okay, 500,000 PLS. What would that be? That would be like that $39 and you'd wait for it, all right? Now, the thing is, I, I have an insufficient balance. But what I've noticed is with these new coins is even if you have enough in there, they will still say that it doesn't work, okay? So you can't swap. All right, so I've actually done here. This is 50,000. You put it down to 5,000. Okay, this one has it here. And the details sometimes take a while to load. But just in case they don't, because people don't have it, obviously, you go directly to the source. So how do you go directly to the source? Well, this is another thing, right? On deck screener, do you remember if we go back, let's say OMG, friends. If you go to the top right, you'll see where this, this exchange is holding the liquidity. See this 9mm? So if you go to other ones, okay, you will find stuff that's on PulseX. Look, this is Teddy Bear. See the top right, the very top right, friends. See how it's PulseX? And look, if you look, it's PulseX V2. So it'll tell you where it is if you need to go directly to the source. So for our one in OMG, we know it's on 9mm DEX. So if you go back to 9mm DEX, remember, and I'll just paste the address in. Oh, wow, Orange Man, good. You've put it in here. And this is what happens. So you, you so now you can pop in. So I've got 10,000 PLS and this is what loaded it. You put in 5,000, you go, like, wow, you can now participate in this. You can swap through. Remember, and don't forget, friends, do not forget, all right? When you go through this, make sure you set aggressive, okay? Estimated fee, put aggressive. If you put aggressive, you'll stop yourself from getting all these errors and stuff here and there. So there you go. You've learned now. You got to get money in. You got money in. All right, how to find coins. You're looking at different sources just to make sure you can get in and participate, over time, these things, these little quirks and stuff fix themselves, but this is how you're getting in early. So there aren't an enormous amount of like these Ethereum native bots that are in, but once Pulse Chain is repriced higher, it will get more attention, more money, more arbitrage people. And then what you'll find is it'll be harder and harder to find stuff that's actually really cheap. In fact, what you'll just find, there's so much attention all the time that something launches, has its hype wave, and then it just dies down. And you're like, oh, well, like, like right now, friends, a Tangang coin, for example, could go to like a million market cap, go back to 600K sideways, or like go back down to 200K. It could happen, okay? That's easy mode. Why? Because there's only a million market cap top. So if you're if you're buying in a million market, there's nothing, okay? 
On Ethereum coins, though, they will launch, they will go to 50 million market cap. And when they come back down, they're still 20 million. You see? So they're still like 20 to 30 times more expensive dollar for dollar than this other stuff. But it, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're slower. It just it just means that you really you need more money to come in to do them. And yeah, there, there, guess what? There is more money on Ethereum. There is more money. It's just that it's a different playing field and you need people of larger wallet accounts to move it, which means you need to be, you need more of the tidal wave to come in. Whereas in Pulse Chain stuff, as I'm showing you coins, for example, like Orange Man Good, like it's only 30K market cap, okay? But remember, just please, not financial advice for anything, but I'm just showing you the liquidity, like $1,000 can make this stuff go up two to three X. Okay, so if you're in, you got to think, oh, well, if this stuff gets shown on other channels and there's a Donald Trump story and a narrative, I wonder just how much easier it is to for these things to flush off. And now you're starting to see why it's important to know how to find stuff early. <clears throat> this can be applied, by the way. There's other stuff out there in crypto. Bitcoin and Bitcoin ordinals and Bitcoin rooms. This is, this is the type of clunky type of work that you need. When everything's streamlined, you really need to be on top of the game. And obviously, I am on top of the game finding this stuff on Ethereum, but... Still, friends, it really does squeeze you out for all your time, okay? So there you go. You've learned a lot today. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button, or catch you soon.